Hi everyone and hello to all my new subscribers. As you may or may not know, I go storm chasing every May with my dad and my twin sister. And this was our ninth year doing that, but I have not posted much footage from this year because well, there was basically no storms to film, but there was one day that stood out from all the rest and that was the most magical chase day of 2021. I mean, even if we were having a good year, this day still would have stood out from all the rest because it was so special. So that's what today's video is about. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, hit subscribe and enjoy the video. I'm going to be honest with you. This year was probably one of, if not the worst chase season we've ever had. The weather was just not cooperating and we didn't have many good chase days. But there was one day that stood out from the rest, the most magical chase day of 2021. Why was it so magical? Well, three things. One, abandoned buildings. Two, monster hail. And three, horses. I'm going to take you through this magical day. The convective outlook for that day was slight with a 2% chance of tornadoes. That might sound really paltry, but you can definitely see something exciting in those conditions. And we'll take what we can get. So we chased, but our expectations weren't too high. The house is so cool. It'd be nice if we got a little lightning action. It hasn't put down a single bolt especially as the day went on and the slight region got blown out into this huge swath running from Nebraska down into Mexico. I think Noah does that just to cover all possibilities because at that point it just seems like a crapshoot. The zone we were in did jump up to 5% tornado possibility though, so we clung on to that. We spent most of the day cruising around roads in this area of Colorado with not much around us. The sky was beautiful though, so we decided we would just focus for the day on practicing our photography skills and get some nice pictures. Hey Alyssa, look there's a meso out there on the horizon. Yeah, I see it. Oh, there's a double rainbow. Cool. Look, we're in Colorado in this town called Kyoto or something. Oh, shattered glass. Oh, shit, there's a bird in there. Birds. Um. And look, this whole place is just like boarded up and then you have this beautiful rainbow back there. Whoa. Ew. Dude, that'd be like really creepy if there was a, a body in one of these. And look at this red brick building. Wow, there was a really nice bolt of lightning right there. So somebody really barbed wired off this house and boarded it up. Though I don't know why because, oh, look at this. Hey, I wonder if there's any mail. Okay, I don't know if people like still live here or what the dealio is. Charles Lee. Empty. There it is. Ew, there's an old sofa in there. Gross. The yoga and Owen something avenue. Here's the town. There's their water tower. Here's their like three houses. Okay, well, that's like driving away without me. What the heck? There was one little cell we focused on, our only chance at seeing anything really. 
He turned Meso several times, which got us super excited. He said that thing is definitely rotated out there. This one here, he's rotating. I'm watching him, let's see, he's got a meso. I can see it. Okay, there's like mosquitoes like crazy. I know, I'm getting you live, but I've been watching this thing wrap. So, uh, can we follow him north? He didn't drop anything other than some nice size hail that we missed by just a couple of minutes. Lucky for us though, since we were in a rental car, we still got to enjoy the aftermath. As our little cells started to fizzle, I became preoccupied with figuring out where we would stay for the night. My dad insisted we worry about that later and just enjoy the sunset on a quiet dirt road. This led to the best part of the day. Thanks, Pop. As we were enjoying the lightning and the orange glow in the sky, a group of horses suddenly ran up to us and wanted attention. They were beautiful and gentle and took turns being pet. It was so unexpected and picturesque. Oh, look at that. How sweet. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. It's kind of lost its structure anyways. But, uh, you guys stole the show. That's great. There you go. We finally ended the day with the delicious Storm Chaser IPA as we watched the lightning show. Now that was an ideal chase day. The best ones usually don't involve tornadoes. They're all about exploring new places, driving on roads we've never been on before, seeing monster hail and beautiful cloud structures, and there wasn't a lot of chasers out that day. And the best part of all was interacting with horses, which I think are incredible sensitive animals. It was just us out there on that dirt road and we had that special moment all to ourselves. It was truly a magical day. When you think about how a day like that in a little part of Colorado could be so special, it makes you wonder about all the other magical moments out there on this great big planet we live on. There's so many places, people, animals, landscapes, experiences. The possibilities for magical moments are endless if you are open to them.